Texas state line right there. Cool. We're officially in Texas. Yay! I am very nervous though because I've been watching the news and there is a huge storm coming in. Tomorrow is when he leaves Texas and drives to Little Rock and tomorrow is the day that the storm is gonna hit and it's gonna be quite crazy. Been a down home, come as you are, it's how fancy it's ours. We can simmer down in a little down home where we got our scars. You can't change who we are, I'm gonna tell you now. My love don't cost a thing. I will wear the boots and you wear the wings when we're down. There's no place like down home. Good morning. What's up, guys? And welcome back to day two of our road trip across the country. Where are we? Geronimo. That's right, Tulsa. Okay, we just tried to start the vlog outside, but it was so windy. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> we almost got blown away. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the vlog. This is day two of Ollie and I's road trip across the country. Yeah. Today we are going through New Mexico and we should reach Texas. You having a good time with that? Yeah. I'm glad we did this. This is fun. Yeah. Been a pretty easy trip so far, huh? Yeah. All right, let's get going. Good morning. <laughs> did you say good morning too? So sweet. I'm here too. Finley's here. It is just us three. So if you missed yesterday's video, then you might not know that Brian and Ollie and Luna are all off on a across country uh, road trip. And it's just Finn and Brielle. Oh. And it's been kind of a crazy day already. We woke up early and um, we had a nice relaxing morning and then it was her nap time and that's when all hell broke loose. She was like, no thanks mom, I'm not taking any naps today. So we are on a no nap train. It is almost like two o'clock and she hasn't slept maybe 20 minutes this whole day, which is crazy. She should be like on her second nap. But I don't know what's going on, if she's got sleep regression or what, but she's like, no thanks mom, I'm not sleeping. Today is very exciting because, well yesterday I spent the whole day, I packed almost the entire house. All of the upstairs is packed, our bedrooms, bathrooms, everything is packed. I just have a couple of towels here for, for the next couple days, but everything is packed. But today is exciting because not only are we officially in escrow, but it's the inspection day. <laughs> I think it just punched you in the face. Oh my gosh, okay. We've got Silas here too, hi buddy. The boys are having so much fun on their road trip. If you're wondering why Finn and Brielle and I didn't go is because I am not a big fan of road trips. I, I despise <laughs> road trips, but more importantly, I was just, there was no way I was gonna be able to get a baby in a car for hours and hours. They're going completely across the country. We're gonna meet them in North Carolina, actually. That's like a 36 hour drive. And obviously it's gonna take them days cause they're gonna have to stop and sleep. They are gonna probably take about a five day road trip. So I was like, you know what? We'll meet you there. But we miss them so much. This girl misses her daddy. Huh, you're always talking about him. Can you say dada? Dada? I'll say it later. All right, it is hour seven. We have been driving for seven hours, bud. Actually, I think a little bit less than that because there was a time change. Uh, we are in New Mexico and I just stopped to grab some tacos because I am starving. And it's finally warm outside. It's super windy still, but at least the sun's up. How you doing? Good. Holding up? We broke out the car games too, so. Trying to keep occupied. You are now leaving New Mexico. Yay! Texas state line, right there. Cool. We're officially in Texas. Yay! With a weird American flag sign. All right, we just pulled off the side of the road. There's so much graffiti over here. Um, what are we gonna go see? Cadillacs in the floor. Cadillac Ranch, right? Yeah. Yeah, so apparently there's this place out here where there, you can't see it, but we'll get close. We'll go yeah. check it out. Yeah. yeah. There's a bunch of shoes right here. I'm pretty sure aliens went here and put a uh, Cadillac. So you think the aliens did this? Yeah. What? We're not even near Area 51 though. Exactly. It looks like the shoes are spray painted and then put on top of the 
fence. That's interesting. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go explore. Okay. Okay, we are out of the house and it is pouring. Locking the door, Finn, come closer. We gotta lock it. It's raining. We have two hours to kill and we haven't eaten, so we're gonna go get some lunch. Baby is sad, probably because she hasn't napped today. We're getting soaked, my carrier's getting soaked. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Baby sister's gonna try some broccoli. Here she goes. What are you thinking at? Oh, don't drop it. <laughs> right, we are home. The inspection, I think it went pretty good, so that's exciting. And I've already got this baby down for bed. I cannot believe how long she was awake today. So I'm just praying that she is down for the night and that I can just relax. I'm actually going to go ahead and start a batch of sourdough. And this might be my last sourdough bread for a while. I'm actually don't know what I'm going to do with my lovely sourdough that's been alive for a few months now. I'm like, should I take it to North Carolina and travel around with it? Is it going to be hard to keep alive? I have no idea what I'm going to do. But I'm so happy Brian and Ollie have landed in Shamrock, Texas. Um, I cannot believe that they've made it across the entire country. Then they're just having a great time. They're just like happy as can be, loving life. I am very nervous though because I've been watching the news and there is a huge storm coming in. Uh, it sounds like it's going to land in Arkansas and Memphis area right around the same time Brian was going to be there. So I don't know if this is going to delay his trip or if he's going to have to like drive and maybe just stop as it gets really bad. But tomorrow is when he leaves Texas and drives to Little Rock. And tomorrow is the day that the storm is going to hit and it's going to be quite crazy. So that Memphis, that really sharp, like really, well, what did I just say? This really um, purpley spot, that's where it's going to be really bad. So he's like over here and he's going to drive and this is where he's going to land right about when it's happening. And this is like severe weather um, and definitely could mean tornadoes. Like the likelihood of tornadoes is pretty significant. So very nervous. But I'm hoping that he can at least get a little bit of land covered tomorrow, but he might not make it too far if the weather is really crazy. I bet this very likely threat's big enough to include Chicago, 
But that level four out of five threat, it's what we had last week, mm -hmm. and we certainly saw those strong tornadoes with it. And it's gonna come along right back into the south and through the Delta. In the Mississippi, that very likely threat, and also that big thick threat highlighted there as well. So let's dive into the south first. Concerns for anybody that's highlighted, obviously.